Hello everybody and welcome back to the Sun United Criminal Series here on FIFA 23, I am DFG and today Sun United return to league action as they face off against Burton Albion. We are currently in second spot, we are a point behind Exeter City who has still only lost one game this year and um, we're still definitely in the hunt to win the league too as well as get automatic promotion. While Burton Albion, who were relegated last season, have not got off to a great start uh, in League 2. 11 games, only 13 points, and uh, around the bottom part of that mid-table scrap at the moment. That's not to say that they don't have players that I'm af not afraid of. Davis Kyler Dunn has been banging in the goals this year. He has six goals. So this isn't going to be a walk in the park, despite uh, Burton Albion uh, not having the greatest starts to their League 2 season. A few changes to the squad here. Welch, of course, in at centre half instead of uh, Louis John, who's out injured. I picked up Welch to put in centre half after he had a good performance in the last game. Ainley and Thomas also come in. Here we go. Two teams with drastically different fortunes here as Sutton United and Burton Albion go one on one here today. The former uh, League One side, Burton Albion, Albion, have had a tough start. So we'd like to get a win here today, while Sutton United would like to keep the pressure on Exeter City. So two teams desperate for the three points here today. It's been a bit scrappy in this first 15 minutes, but uh, Sutton United have been uh, probing. They just can't get that clear chance, but now it's Burton Albion are going to come forward. And it's Kyler Dawn who's got a chance here, and he's... Put that off target. With the form that he's been in, you'd expect him to, to at least make the goalkeeper work, but he put it wide. Pardon. I've given it to... Eventually gotten to Gibson here after Gambin gave it to him. It's back to Gambin. Ball comes in and it's perfectly picked out. Ainley in the middle. And after probing and probing, Sutton United finally get the breakthrough. And it's from the head of Callum Ainley. 1-0. They just break down this right hand side. Barden to Gambin to Gibson. Back to Gambin. And he does excellently to pick out Ainley in the middle. Questions about the defender here. He doesn't watch Ainley when the ball is in the air. He, maybe he misjudges it. But doesn't matter. Ainley gets the goal. It's 1-0. Gatto there on the left hand side but he can't bring it down and Barden is able to tackle him and now Sutton United come forward maybe they can get another goal here before the break great ball by Barden out to Thomas on this left hand side he puts the ball in but it's over Wilson and it's going to be cleaned up at the back post by Burton Albion and that is going to be the first half here not many chances for either team though Sutton United were certainly the better of the two they just couldn't get many clear-cut chances. But the one they did make, they put it in the net. And at halftime, it's Sutton United 1, Burton Albion 0. A scrappy first half with only one goal and two real chances. As we have another 45 minutes here to go through. Let's see what these two teams will bring here and what the result will be. Nice ball to Thomas down this left hand side. Little dink back. He tries to get it to Wilson, but it's cleared away. But Sutton still have it. Gibson. It's a strike away! And it's gone wide. Probably should have done better there, Gibson. Here's Lovett, but he's given that away. Now Burton has the ball back, but Lovett is pressing them down. He's done well to win the ball back again, Lovett. Gibson. That's a very poor pass, and Smith has intercepted it. Kizzy tried to to get there. He tries to chip it into Kyler Dunn, but Welch has done excellently. Good life in Welch today have been absolutely superb as a centre back pairing. And now Sutton United can break forward. It's Gibson, still Gibson. He tries to fight in Cullen at the back post, but he can't get it there. Gammon gives it back in. Wilson strikes, but it's blocked. 
And now Burton Albion are going to come away and Delgado can break here down the left hand side. Good life comes out to him but he's left, Delgado's left him for dead. Ball comes through, great chance and it's an absolutely wonderful save from Rose. Rose, long kick out. Wilson wins it but can't find a Sutton United player. Here come Burton Albion now. Saavedra. Welch is with him. If defended well here, Sutton. Ball gets the Barden, but he can't get the ball away. Welch is there. He gets a block in, but eventually makes his way in. And it's going to end up in the back of the net. Against the run of play, Burton Albion have got the leveller. Had a few chances here in the second half, but it's just Sutton United don't get it clear. And the header does just enough to get over Rose at the back post. And uh, they get the leveller and that probably will give them a point here at the BBS Community Stadium. 1-1. One, one. Something want to... Uh, the three points here. They're going to have to find something. Here's good life. Cullen. It's done well, Cullen. But doesn't get the ball in. Here comes the Gambin. He's blocked it. And now this is the corner. Gibson puts it in. But Wilson can't win the header. Smith is out there. Good life. He gives it through to Kizzy. He tries to get a strike away. But it's blocked. And that should be it. And it is it. Burton Albion scrape a point here at the BBS Community Stadium. Sutton United, certainly the better of the two teams in the first half. The second half did have a lot more action, though. And Burton Albion did come back into it near the end and uh, had a few chances. And they were able to get one and put it in the back of the net to level it up. Uh, Sutton United will be disappointed. They probably were the better team over the 90 minutes. But um, Burton Albion will be absolutely delighted to come away with a point here. At the end of 90 minutes, it's Sutton United 1. Burton Albion won. It's a game we probably should have won, but the big thing coming out of it is that Callum Ainley is after breaking his toe. He's out for three months. Um, I didn't show it in the in in the game, but he did get hurt, and he's out for three months. So our injuries continue to to get more and more, but we do get one back. Louis Jean is now returning, but he's not quite fully fit yet, though uh, it will it should be in just a few more games. Um, so he will be back soon. So one player goes out for injury and another player comes back. So we're not losing any players really. Our squad stays the same um, uh, number. With that draw, Exeter City extend their lead. And, but now we have a game against Harrogate Town that realistically we should win. Though we are away from home. And Harrogate Town have given us some problems in the past. Of course they're... Um, Striker Luke Armstrong was a player that we looked at during the summer to bring in as a replacement for Bougel who got injured. And he is still in this team, as well as Pablo Felipe, uh, two players that we should look out for. And speaking of Bougel, he returns after his injury here today. He makes a start to lead the line. Ainley, of course, comes out. Eastman comes back in. But the big man at the top is the big news. And he will start here today. Omar Bujul's return game as the big man comes back from injury and he starts and leads the line for Sutton United here today. Harrogate Town are in deep trouble near the bottom of the table of League 2. While Sutton United are flying high, let's see which team can get the three points here today. It's Harrogate Town who start the better and the goalkeeper has to save a strike from Pablo Felipe. Jack Rose gets his hand to it. Not quite sure if he needed to get a hand to that there. Looked like it was going wide, but he made the same save nonetheless. And here's Gambin coming away. And no whistle from the referee there. A possible foul on Gambin. Don't know if he got the, all the ball there. But now Hat Harrogate are coming forward. Thompson, Elisandmi, and it's a goal. And Harrogate Town are not going to take the lead. He's offside. The, the, ref, uh, the linesman's flag is up. Didn't look offside to me. And he's not. He looks perfectly onside to me. That is a dreadful decision. 
And Harrogate down should be upset. Thompson. Mehechka. And it's a good tackle by Bard. And Sutton so United have struggled to get out of their own half in, in the first 20 minutes or so. But here comes Gibson. And it looks like he's going to be able to do that just here. Smith. Barden has made a nice run down this right hand side. They could counter attack here. Barden, little dink in, and Wilson is there! And completely against the run of play, Sutton United have taken the lead. We talk about all the time how good Sutton United are on the break, and they've done it here again. Great ball by Barden, great uh, ball by Smith to get it to Barden on that right hand side. He finds Wilson, and he opens the scoring 1 0. Free kick here. Smith as Eastman follows him. It is me. And Smith is going to get the tackle. And Sutton are going to break. Wilson. Still Wilson. Nice ball here to Kizzy. Got a chance here to get a strike away. And Bougel has jumped over that. That was a great chance for him to get his first goal back. But Barden has kept possession for Sutton. Gibson. He strikes. He scores. A little bit of rustiness from Omar Bujil as he jumps over the ball, but it still ends up back in the back of the net. And Sutton United are the ultimate opportunists after a disallowed goal for Harrogate Town. They probably shouldn't have been early on. And they have taken a 2-0 lead. Barden keeps it alive after Bujil jumps over it. And he finds the right man in Jordan Gibson, who's been, let's be honest, one of Sutton United's greatest players this season. He puts them 2 0 ahead, and this could be all she wrote. Harrogate Town dealing with some injuries here, and they're coming forward here again. Pablo Felipe has done excellent. Need to get El Asanme through, but Rose has done wonderfully to keep it out. They hadn't, they've been dominated for the last 10 or so minutes, minutes Harrogate Town, but they get a strike off there. Coming up to half time, and both teams have had their chances. But Sutton United have been more clinical. And of course, the disallowed goal for Harrogate. That's a, made a huge difference in this game because if they go 1 0 up, maybe it's a different ball game here in this first half. But there goes the half time whistle, and Sutton United have done excellently despite the, the, the early pressure from Harrogate Town. Two chances, two goals, and at half time it's Harrogate Town nil, Sutton United two. A second 45 minutes here. Harrogate Town will definitely feel hard done by after realistically they should have gone ahead, but it was disallowed. And Sutton United took full advantage to go two up. Let's see what happens here in this second 45 minutes. Good life once again gets his foot in. And that's the one thing that we've seen this season. Really good at the back. No matter who's in the back four for Sutton United. But Harrogate Town are coming forward here. Pablo Felipe back heel. Armstrong's there but it's blocked by Barden. And it's cleared away. But it looks like that they can break. Here's Gambin. Bougel holds it up for a moment and slips through Wilson. This could be three, and Wilson second, and it is. A quick breakaway for Sutton United. And they've made it 3-0. And surely that's it. Bujil, you know, we missed, uh, they missed him for so long with this kind of play, just holding the ball up, waiting for players to come in and getting them involved. And he does excellently to slide through Wilson. And it's a second of the game. A really nice brace for Wilson. It's 3-0. And that should be game. You want to talk about just the difference between these two teams and Sutton United. Despite getting off to a rough start. And that really is uh, showing what kind of day it's been for Harrogate Town. Ogundega gets that ball back and just shows that uh, when the luck's going when luck's going your way, 
things tend to be a lot easier on uh, your team. Is Nice ball by Bougiel out to Gibson on this right-hand side. And he's waltzed into the box and he's found his man. And it's going to be four. And so United may be a little bit flattered by this scoreline, but they've certainly been the better team. And the three points are most certainly theirs now. Gibson just picks out the man in the middle. He could have picked out Love it too, but he put it behind him. And Thomas finishes. It's 4-0. And Bentley is absolutely delighted. And Harrogate Town can barely get the restart underway before the referee blows the full-time whistle. Harrogate Town at the bottom of the table just can get no kind of luck. Disallowed goal, which really should have been allowed, has resulted in them getting absolutely hammered here at home. Booze from the crowd, maybe for the, how the team performed after the disallowed goal, but could very much be for that disallowed goal too. But at the end of 90 minutes, it's Harrogate Town nil, Sutton United 4. Got lucky, but we were very good after that goal was disallowed. So, you know, we'll all be happy with the win. I'll take it, of course, and we do move on with uh, probably the one of the bigger uh, matches that we that we have today against Leighton Orient, who are in eighth, just outside the playoff places. You can see them there at the bottom of the table as we are still within a point of Exeter City. Um... Uh, after they, we were three points behind them in, after the last game, but they drew their most recent game, so now we're within a point of them once again. Um, as we play Leighton Orient at home. A big game for us today. They do have a few players that we need to be worried about. Paul Smith, uh, Aaron Drynan, but my biggest uh, danger man for them will be Ruel Sotorio. Consistently scores goals from the wing. And can make things happen. So he would be someone we keep an eye on here today. Pretty much the same team as we had for the last game. Wide change team after beating a team 4-0. So same 11 here to start the game here against our biggest opposition here today. St. Norrent. Two teams at the top of the table. Both teams going for promotion. And a big game here today. So United right in the thick of it of the title race. St. Norrent trying to get into the playoff spots. Both teams won three points. Let's see what happens here today. Eastman uh, back there covering, but the pass is poor and good life is on excellently once again to break down play. And now Sutton so, United come on the break. Gambin, Wilson. Hit the Gambin again. Kizzy is going to lose the ball. And now Leighton Orient are on their way. Obiero, Tanga. He comes down this left, uh, right hand side with Gambin covering. But he's breezed past Gambin. Tanga, if he picks the right pass, this could be 1-0. Obiero, great block. And now Sutton are on the break here again. End-to-end -end stuff, Bougiel. And he gets absolutely clattered from behind. Bougiel looks like he's just after coming back from injury. It seems like he's going to get up, and it, it is a card for Craig Clay. Here is the free kick, and it's short to Gambin. He takes a strike, and it's caught from the goalkeeper for an easy save. Here comes Tanga again. We've seen how dangerous he can be. He's, he's there. He's got past him. He finds Obiero. Obiero's giving it to Drynan. And Obiero probably should have been the one to strike that. Tanga continues to cause uh, Sutton United problems, but they get away with it. Now Gambin coming forward. End-to-end -end stuff here between these two teams. Bougiel, excellent ball out to Gibson. And Gibson tries to find his man but can't. It's not quite away yet. Gambin gets to Bougiel. Still Bougiel. He gets a strike away and the keeper will save it. Good strike by Bougiel but probably just making it a little bit too difficult on himself. Making that angle too tight. But uh, Bentley will be proud of the way Bougiel has 
come into this game. Gibson ball comes in. He picks out Smith and in. The keeper was beaten. But Smith didn't beat the crossbar. And Leighton Orient bring it away. Obiero. Hunt. This is the herb of good life once again. Breaks up that attack. And now Sutton may see if they can come forward. Great ball through by Wilson de Bougil. This could be his chance. But Clay is able to clean it up. And Leighton Orient will now come forward for themselves. Drynan. Pardon is with Sutton Rio here. Obiero. Drynan. Welch excellently done. Bit of a risky uh, pass there by Welch, but it comes off for him. As they break down play again, and there is the halftime whistle. A very back and forth game between these two sides. Chances for both teams, but neither could put the ball in the net. Donovan Wilton not really done much in this game after his brace in the last. But at halftime here, it's United nil, Leighton Orient nil. End-to-end -end stuff in the first half. Let's hope for a second 45 minutes of the same. Neither team could break the deadlock in the first half. But we've got 45 more minutes here to go. Let's see if the deadlock can be broken in this second half. Just Leighton Orient who are coming forward with James. But Wilson tracks him back and has done excellently there to get the ball back. And there's nothing but green here in front of Wilson. Is he... Runs forward. James does get it back, but he uh, Wilson comes back inside to Gambin. Here's Eastman, and the captain is back in the goals once again. Ainley's injury has brought Eastman back in, and he is he will open the scoring here. A huge goal as Sutton United take the lead against Leighton Orient. It's all about Wilson. Tracks back, gets the ball back, and starts the attack. Gambin as well just excellently being unselfish to just give the ball through to Eastman who was uh, running through late. And that's what it means to Bentley to go ahead of Leighton Orient here. Leighton Orient are going to have to uh, get something going here if they want to get back in this game. And Tanga once again seems to be the man who's going to be the one doing it. And he's gotten past Wells but Wells is taking him down. It's a yellow card and a penalty for Leighton Orient. A really good performance by Welch, but there is absolutely no question that's a penalty. And Leighton Orient have a chance to get back in it. A very surprising substitution. Tanga comes off. It's trying in for the penalty spot, and it's right down the middle. And Leighton Orient get the leveler from the spot. You, you gotta you can't really blame Welch for the for the goal for the penalty that he gave and gave away He's just trying to cover for Kizzy and he puts in a rash challenge Rose does his best here as well to try and save the goal but he can't and drawing and levels it both teams have been good today both teams have gone forward but here comes Bujil glorious turn and he's going to score. And Omar Bujil has returned and he has put the ball in the back of the net. And what a better time to, than to get your goal than right here to give them the lead against Leighton Orient. It's just simple kick out. Smith wins it down to Gibson. He finds Bujil. And Bujil puts the ball in the net. Back after seven months of injury and he's going to give his team an very important lead here against Leighton Orient. 2 1. Leighton Orient need to come forward here and if they're going to get something out of this game. Drynan. Archibald gives a right back to Drynan and he's left good life in the dust. Tries to chip him and that's an absolutely wonderful save from Jack Rose. Lovely one too. Drawing comes through and he tries to be cheeky but Rose gets up there and saves it. Sutton United need to just calm down and just 
Be solid at the back, but they're coming forward here. Eastman gives it to Fada Hunzi, and his pace has gotten him through here. Fada Hunzi! And Tope Fada Hunzi has almost guaranteed Sutton United will come away with the three points. A man in excellent form has given Sutton United the win. It's a great pass by Eastman to... To get, to get Fata Hunzi through. But he does everything else. His pace. His movement. Excellent. And the finish is glorious. 3-1. Orient are going to have to come forward quickly. If they want to get anything out of this game. But. They're running out of time. Tackled by Fata Hunzi. But they still have the ball here. Hunt. Gibson gets his foot in. And gets the ball back. And that probably is. And it is Sutton United get a very important win against another team flying high in Leighton Orient. A very, very entertaining game that had ups and downs for both sides. But Omar Bougil was the man who gave Sutton United that goal to, that would put them ahead. And Tope Fadahunzi made sure that they would come away with the three points in the end. Sutton United had their chances. And they, today, they were the more clinical. At the full time, it's Sutton United 3, Leighton Orient 1. We had a very rough start to the to the day here today. We, we had a game against Burton Albion. I think we probably should have done better than we actually did. Uh, I think we were better than them throughout the game. And we just weren't able to put the ball in the net and they got an equalizer late the last two games we were far better um we were way better than harrogate town despite the the, the disallowed goal we responded well and of course Leighton orient which was a big game because they're going to be there or thereabouts at the end of the season and uh but we got the three goals and two goals late to make sure we came away with the three points but now we do have a problem on our hands and I'll discuss that in a moment, but um, this team has been firing in all cylinders. Where I think we're the top goal scorers in, in the league at the moment. And a win against Leighton Orient does a lot for our confidence. Does a lot for um, for for this team beating teams around us. So that's a very, very, very good thing. Um, Bougel, of course, gets back on the score sheet. Excellent to see. He's been really good since he's come back. Little bit. Rusty in the first game, but uh, he did come back in the second game and was excellent. So, uh, got got his goal and made sure that we got the three points. So, and we as we keep on going with this unbeaten run and it's brought us to the top of the table. Uh, Exeter City um, didn't play, so that's uh, something that we need to keep an eye on who their game at hand is against. However, the big thing I want to look at here is we have so many issues now or a good issue a problem that many teams want is that we have just have so many options going forward jordan gibson has been excellent this season probably creates the most chances for us and with goals and assists of course donovan wilson has been another player who's been excellent for us assists and goals as well he's our top goal scorer and omar bougil of course he's back and he's done well since he's come back got the goal uh, there today to really uh I suppose, uh, get us, uh, make sure we got the three points before Topi Fadahunzi absolutely guaranteed it. And he's been excellent. He's only appeared in four, uh, uh, games this year. He scored four goals. So, he got a, he's been really, really good for us. You've also got Quam Thomas and Randall has been kept out of the squad as well. And, you know, Edmondson, he's injured at the moment. He's going to come back. So, we have a lot of attacking options and it's going to be difficult to fit them all in. However, that is the end of this episode. And if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. It really helps uh, the channel and the video. And uh, we'll see you next time for more United content. Uh, we'll see you then. Peace out, guys.